This is an AI accountability coach that checks in on me throughout the day, celebrates when I hit my goals, and actually remembers our entire conversation history. I built this entire thing, database, authentication, AI, and chat interface in just two prompts using Lovable. Lovable just fixed the two biggest problems that were holding them back. Let me show you what changed and why this matters if you've been trying to build AI apps but getting stuck on the technical stuff. So if you're someone who has AI app ideas but you're not a developer, this is for you. If you've tried to build something but got stuck somewhere in between, this is for you. If you're a founder who wants to validate an idea quickly without hiring a dev team, this is for you. So Lovable has always been pretty good or I'd say incredible at generating UIs very quickly. But if you wanted to build a real app with a database, that's when the problem started. So Lovable does integrate with Superbase, but you still had to have a separate Superbase account, connect your Lovable to Superbase, which sometimes worked and sometimes didn't. And the moment you tried to change something that Lovable already built in Superbase, that's when you typically run into errors. And sometimes if you didn't get your prompt right, that conversation between Superbase and Lovable would just burn through all of your Lovable credits. And if you wanted to add AI features, you'd need to build a separate backend using either N8N or Make.com, as I've done here with N8N for my calorie tracker app. So essentially, you would have three moving parts for one simple app. You'd have Lovable for the UI, you'd have N8N for the backend, and you'd have Superbase for the database. So Lovable just released two updates that solve both problems, Lovable Cloud and AI. So Lovable Cloud is a native database that lives inside Lovable. So there's no more Superbase, no more external setup. And since it's built in Lovable itself, the AI is much more effective at talking to and modifying the database. And Lovable AI is native LLM integration. You just prompt for AI features and Lovable handles everything. So no more fiddling around with API calls, API key management, conversation storage, all of that is handled automatically by Lovable. So in this video, I'm going to show you a goal tracker app that I made using Lovable AI and Lovable Cloud in just two prompts. So here I am at lovable.dev. Here's my first prompt. And remember, this is in the description so you can copy it exactly. And if you want this plus more advanced prompts, I've got them in my school community. And the link to that is in the description as well. You can see it's not a very complicated prompt. It's super simple. And in the last line, I'm specifying that I need user authentication as well. So after a little bit of thinking, it figured out what it wanted to do. And it asked me if I wanted to enable the cloud. So with the old Superbase integration, at this point, it would ask me to connect Superbase and then go through all of the Superbase setup. But here, all I had to do was click Allow and Lovable Cloud automatically set up the backend. And let me show you what that looks like. So if I click this little cloud icon over here, you'll see that I have a database with multiple tables, users, authentication settings, and everything else that I need. So everything that used to live in Superbase now lives inside Lovable itself. So let's go ahead and log into the app and see what that functionality is. So now that I'm in the app, you can see that I can set goals, I can complete goals, I can create new goals, create the goal, there it is. And if I log out and log back in, you'll see that it's all there. And I can go to the database and actually see that goal in my database itself. So I can't stress this enough times, to be able to achieve this with a single prompt with backend integration and authentication is really a total game changer. So that was prompt number one, but here's where it gets even more crazy. So let's say I want to add AI, a coach that actually talks to me and remembers context. So with the old Lovable, I'd have to build out that whole AI backend on N8N, connect this app to N8N using a webhook, and spend a whole bunch of tokens trying to get that to work. But here is prompt number two. Add an AI accountability coach with these abilities. I've just listed all these abilities here and I've also asked it to create a chat interface that I can talk to anytime about my goals. And importantly, I wanted to store all conversations in the database. So Lovable prompted me to enable AI. I went ahead and accepted that and it went ahead and set up the AI integration, modified the database, Remember, this is happening locally and no longer happening separately on Superbase, so there's less chance for errors. And in just a few seconds, it built out an AI coach with periodic check-ins, 
context aware responses and a working chat interface. And let me show you how that works. So I can go ahead and talk to the AI about my latest task, follow up with it. It remembers what was said earlier. It remembers the tasks that I'm doing right now. So if I go ahead and create a new goal and give it a deadline that's in less than an hour, and if I refresh the page, it's going to check in with me. How is your goal going? Are you making good progress or not? So I was able to set all of this up using just two prompts. And I'm saying this for the third time, but I cannot repeat it enough times how incredible this is. And if you wanted to take an app like this to the next level, here are some more features that you can add, like automated check-ins. Every day at a certain time, the AI would automatically check in with you regarding your, go regarding your goals and your progress. AI can recognize your AI can analyze your goal history and identify which goals you complete the most, the best times of the day, and display all of that using charts, social features, to share your goals and motivation with another person using the app, advanced gamification like badges, level up systems, milestones, progress visual visualizations, and the sky's the limit. And if you're interested in building out some of these features, I provided some advanced prompts in my private school community. And if you're interested in joining, there's a link to that in the description. The community gets together every month, votes on a build and we build it together live. And we also have weekly calls and one-on-one -on -one consultations as well. So if you're interested in that, just click on the link in the description and, and check it out. Now, finally, a word of warning. Before you dive in, just remember that your data is now going to live on Lovable. So unlike the old Superbase integration, where your data would live in a secure Superbase account, even though Lovable Cloud is secure, everything is on Lovable's infrastructure. So for personal projects, MVPs, side projects, testing ideas, and for simple apps, this is perfect. You couldn't ask for anything better. But for high stakes data, like healthcare, finance, sensitive user information, you'd probably want a more robust database infrastructure that is more in your control. So you can think of this like Notion or Airtable as a database and backend, which is incredible for 90% of use cases, but there are scenarios where you may need true data ownership. So just wanted to be upfront about that. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a like and do remember to subscribe to the channel for more AI and automation content.